Good morning, you guys. This is Sugar Trina Bobina, aka Miss Hood Christian. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Today is Wednesday. Um, it's the last Wednesday of February. So, you know, we do not have that long for a new month. Um, today, I'm basically going to be talking about uh, what's been going on with me spiritually, emotionally, um, how I've been affected. Um, by certain things and my triggers and things like that as you guys know you could tell from my channel i haven't been really um putting any um content up well it's because i still have some things that could be viewed so i kind of left it at that um but basically you guys i am going through some things and i feel like who other than to talk to, you know, then my channel, right? Because so many people are struggling with this. And it's a, a lady by the name is Catherine. She has a YouTube channel. I absolutely love her channel. She's very encouraging and things like that. Um, and she talked about her um, having a issue with smoking cigarettes which is one of my issues as well but nevertheless that's not here or there we're gonna let's get on me and but the reason why i mentioned her is because it made me want to um come and talk about some things that i'm struggling with you know um before we get started, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and even comment on my videos. If you're not already subscribed, please do so, and hit the notification button so whenever I drop a video, you'll be one of the first to know. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, you guys, to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure you can tell by my title. It says that I'm all churched out, um, and this is going to be a part of my confession. My confession is, is that... I haven't been going to church like I I used to. Uh, at first, I wasn't going a lot because um, I, you know, have boarding homes and things like that. So I was taking care of people and doing those type of things. And then I had teen girls, um, um, social line and thing like that. So, you know, a lot of my time was dedicated to that. And my apostle of my church always said that, if you have to go to work, go to work um, and, you know, do what you need to do because that's important as well as Christ is important. These are my words, this right here. Christ is important and is, yes, it is way more important than going to work. But if it's something that um, you have to do in order to make a living and be able to give your tithes and offering to Christ, then that's what you have to do right so our apostle is very understanding when it comes to those things and he didn't tell me that personally but um a member of the church told me that which is a relative of mine so um yeah you know it's important for us to go to work and if our job tells us that we have to go to work on Sundays then that's what it is but we always catch up on it because now our church provides a YouTube channel, you know, social media where we can be able to watch it while we work. So I think that was an amazing thing that the church decided to do or whatever. But anyway, I'm getting off course. Um, so like I was saying, I just been so churched out, you guys. Like, and then when I do try to get myself together and go to church, something always happens, you guys. I'm talking about literally. Like this past Sunday, um, I got up. I said, you know what? I I can't stay away from church anymore. I'm tired of looking at it on on uh, social media. I want to be in the God's house, and um, I got all dolled up and pretty because you know on Sundays. I'm this type of person. When you go to church, you look your best is is just like you would if you was going to a party or to the club or to an event or something like that. You want to look your best. Well, I got dressed for Christ. When I go to church, I make sure that I'm all dolled up and pretty because I want to look good for Christ. That's my date for the day is Christ on Sundays, right? So, um, I got all dolled up and pretty and ready to go to church and I was walking. I never wore these shoes, not one 
time. Not once, you guys. And I put some shoes on and I said, you know what? I need to go to run to the store first before I go to the church. And don't you know, on my way, walking out of the store door, both of my shoes at the bottom came off. And I'm like, what in the world? I never even wore the shoes. They literally came off. And I just started crying and, and getting frustrated. And I, I can't lie. I got frustrated with God. I was like, God, what is it that you want me to do? Like every time I'm ready to get up and go to church, something happened. Like, listen, you guys, my vehicle is not an old vehicle. Like the cars that I have, they are not old at all. They're not even past seven years old. And when something, when I get ready to go to church, like on a Friday or a Saturday, something happens to the car and I'm unable to get to the church on Sundays. So I will have to end up watching it on social media. And I finally just got up this past Sunday and was like, I'm, I'm getting in that church house this Sunday. You know, I'm, I don't, I give my tithe and offering and stuff. I do it by the mobile app, you know, but, um, I was like, I got to be in the presence of God. I, I have to be like, what is stopping me from going to church? And then sometimes I would get up and have church on my mind and I would prepare my clothes um, on Saturday nights and everything. I'm going to wear this to church. I'm going to do this. I got this settled. So when I get up, I'm going to cook my breakfast and to get everything situated in my home. And then I go to church at the time, you know, our church starts. But then I, I, I find myself sitting on the couch and not wanting to move. And I've just been feeling so down about that, like, because I, I want to serve Christ as much as I can, not just by doing YouTube and social media and things like that. I want to be present in Christ, you know, going to church and everything like that. And I find myself not doing that. And, it, and it's an emotional roller coaster for me because I never want God to think that I don't love him, even though I know he knows that I love him. But to me, it feels like I'm not taking an extra step to do what I need to do to get to his house. And that, uh, that affects me so much because I think about all the things that he have brought me through and everything that I have been through in my entire life. I found myself getting mad at God and questioning him and questioning my, my, my spirituality and all of these things for these past months. And I know what kind of God I serve. And I and I know what he could do. I've witnessed miracles. Don't guys, don't you know? Even with me going through all of this, he had me feeling like um I have HIV. I was like, not Christ, but the enemy. And I was like, y'all, I spent all last week crying and weeping and all of these things and the reason why I said that because I had got a rash on my chest I had got boils under my arms I was feeling really really bad I had got uh, a couple of sores on my body that opened up and then they closed back up and as me being in the medical field um you know that could be a sign of having HIV AIDS and all through my mind, I was just losing it, you guys. I was going crazy in here. But then the other day, God was like, and not even just God, but me. Me, when I finally got clear and got back into my Bible and started reading scriptures and started listening to my Christian YouTube channels that I like to listen to and things like that, I was standing in my kitchen and it came to me, it dawned on me. I was like, Trina, 
the devil can't get to you no other way. So he used the one thing that you fear the most. And that's having HIV AIDS. And the thing about it is, I have been negative. I always take HIV tests and things like that. You know, like I every year, like I've told you guys at the end of last year, what I do, I, I go get my panel done, blood work done and things like that and um, everything so I can have a clean bill of health or whatever. And I've always been negative on everything and um, my heart and lungs and all of that stuff has always been great but for some reason um i broke out with something but then i started thinking like trina you get a grip of yourself you have no reason to have hiv aids you have no reason to have any type of virus or anything like that you know your your medical records clean i even went on to my uh medical charts to look into my charts and stuff to make sure everything was negative and nothing was wrong with me and stuff like that because i'm like why am why am i having these sores and boils and stuff coming up on my body and then i started thinking about it i was like well wait a minute trina um, I had used some clippers to shave up under my arms and I would get like a little knot. I was thinking maybe it's ingrown hairs or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I started having them, you know, to reoccur and things like that. And I never talked to my PCP about taking care of my underarms and sending me to a dermatologist to see what they can give me to stop that. And I believe that's what that was, um, on that part. So that's something that I need to get taken care of. And for, as far as the rash, I put some, um, alcohol on there two days later, it was gone, but I also had to think about it. I'm the type of person. I love going to thrift stores and things like that, um, to find items that are one of a kind or to get vintage things and stuff like that. And when I bring that stuff home, before I clean it, I'll be having on my body and things like that. And um, also, I had a, some lettuce, um, some romaine lettuce, and I don't think it was good. And then I had some shrimp. I was like, it's, it, it's, it's something, you know, that's affecting my body. But anyway, um, it took me a week to heal or whatever, you know. I was feeling really bad. I was coughing. My lungs was closed. My throat was felt like it was closing up on me and things like that. But anyway, you guys, it took me to get into my word and really get down and eat that meat of the word in order to gain back my right state of mind, to get my heart back right, um, and 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 you know to be encouraged by other uh youtuber uh youtubers that um that are christian channels um to listen to you know different sermons and things like that i like i had to really get into it i had to go into overtime on um praying and things like that you know so it was a struggle for me, you guys, and now that I have recognized what's going on in my life and with my spirituality and, and you know, things like that and know that I have a demonic spirit that's trying to turn me away from Christ even more right now, um, I know that I have to go in, <laughs> in full force. Um, to make sure that I don't let the enemy win over me, over this thing that I was battling. Now I know what he's using against me, which is my health, um, because he, he can't get to me through drugs. He can't get to me for people messing with me and things like that because I've, I've passed that level. He, he know that he can't mess with me on that level anymore. So he tried the one thing that scares me the most. And now that I know that's what he's using against me, I know how to fight it. Anyway, you guys, um, I love you all. And I did not forget about the um, showing you guys how to create um, oils for your body for um, summer and spring and fall and winter. That's actually going to be on my other channel. Yes, I do have an old channel that I'm going to rebirth in April. So 
instead of me doing it on this channel, I'm going to do it on that channel because I want to keep this channel as a Christian-based channel. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.